Hello and welcome to the campaign trail from the Irish Examiner. I'm Daniel McConnell. And I'm Mick Clifford. All this week ahead of election 2020, we'll be taking a look at all of the runners and riders in each of the five Cork constituencies. We will be examining the lie of the land in each area and crucially delivering our verdict as to who we think will fill the 18 seats from Cork in the 33rd Doyle. Today, we are looking at the constituency of Cork Northwest. It's a three seat constituency and there are 10 candidates competing. No, the outgoing candidates here are Fine Gael's Michael Creed and Fianna Fáil's Andreas Moynihan and Michael Moynihan. In addition to those, we have Colette Finn of the Green Party, Becky Keeley of Aintu, Kieran McCarthy, Social Democrats, John Paul O'Shea, Fine Gael, Sean O'Leary, Independent, and Tara Ní Ronal, Irish Freedom Party. This is a sprawling constituency and it takes in the commuter towns of Ballincollig and further out I suppose McCroom has become something of a commuter town as well. But then in the north of the county it also has the traditional market towns as Charleville, Kenturk and Newmarket. There's a clear divide in the constituency as a result between north and south and because the south has a far greater population in terms of its uh, relative location to the city, um, it usually translates into returning two TDs from that side. So, for instance, currently Michael Creed and Andreas Moynihan are from the south, while Michael Moynihan hails from the north. Now, it's also been something of a weather vane constituency since the days when Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael dominated politics. The big two have, over the decades, swapped third seat between them. If you won in Cork North West, the trend tended to be going your way nationally, and it also meant that you getting that seat, it denied the other party of the second seat and notched one up for yourself. So in terms of the verdict, while this general election looks like it's going to see some big changes in terms of traditional voting patterns, it currently looks like if it will be back to the future here with the two big uh, parties slugging it out for the third seat, making a two to one win as has been the case in times gone by. Whether or not it will retain any function as the weather vane uh, constituency for the broader national vote remains to be seen. Um, despite Fine Gael doing poorly in the national opinion polls, they have a candidate here who could upend national trends. The first two seats should be retained by Michael Creed, the Agricultural Minister, outgoing and Andreas Moynihan in the south end of the constituency, so the real battle here will take place up north. There, Michael Moynihan, the Fianna Fáil whip, is expected to face very stiff opposition from Fine Gael's new kid on the block, John Paul O'Shea. O'Shea is a long-standing councillor who ran as an independent in 2016, but lost out by only 249 votes to Michael Moynihan. Fine Gael approached O'Shea to go on the party ticket nearly two years ago, and the general consensus is that with a party machine behind him, good vote management, with Creed in the South, he should be well placed to take the third seat. So I'm calling it for the three seats in Cork North West. Uh, uh, they are going to go to Michael Creed and Andreas Moynihan, uh, with Fine Gael taking the second seat through John Paul O'Shea. Okay, well that's it for today. Tomorrow we'll be looking at the constituency of Cork Southwest. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.